Hello everyone. Welcome to the second year practical session. In this session, you are going to study two important experiments. The first one is the nuclear staining. Second one is the pH of the given water and soil sample. Coming to the first one, nuclear staining. As the name itself indicates, nucleus has to stay. So this is the cell. Here there is a presence of nucleus and nucleolus and these are the chromosomes and this is nothing but cytoplasm. So here what you have to do is you have to stain only the nucleus part. Take a glass slide, add one or two drops of acetocarmine stain and these are the onion pieces. This is outer layer and this is inner layer. What you have to do is you have to take the inner peel like this and then place it on a slide. You have to heat this one because we are doing nuclear staining. Only nucleus part has to absorb stain so that slightly you have to heat it. So, after heating, you have to wash with the water like this. That means you are removing excess of stain. Take one more slide, add a drop of water and transfer this peel on this slide. And then cover this with the cover glass. And same thing, if excess water is there, just wipe it like this. And this is ready for observation. Take a glass slide, take one or two drops of acetocarmine stain and then you have to take this onion piece and you have to Peel the inner layer. This is outer layer and this is inner layer placed on the slide and slightly you have to heat it because we are doing nuclear stain. Only the nucleus has to absorb the stain and then you have to wash this with water and transfer the peeling on other slide. Cover this with a cover glass and it, this is ready for observation. How to observe this? This is a compound microscope, low power objective, high power objective. You have to use only the low power objective, turn like this and then by observing this eyepiece, you have to turn the mirror towards the light. Once it get focused, then you have to keep the slide and slowly you have to move this course adjustment like this. Between 1 to 1.5 centimeter it will get focused. In the microscope you can see like this very much elongated cells, number of cells 
like this and the cells are always compactly arranged and then you can see only this part nucleus has absorbed the stain this is said to be nuclear staining you can see in this picture this this is nothing but all the cells which are very much elongated and here after doing this experiment in the answer paper you have to write only two important points no need to draw the diagram only thing is you have to write the shape of the cell this is almost elongated rectangular rectangular shape of cell and then you have to write the number of nuclei that is present in each cell that is in each cell there is a presence of only one nucleus therefore it is uninucleated only these two point you have to write in the answer sheet so this is about the experiment nuclear staining so what you have to do is you have to take a clean glass slide one or two drops of acetocarmine stain and then you have to take an onion piece and you have to peel the inner layer placed on the stain gently you have to heat it because we are doing nuclear stain only the nucleus has to absorb the stain and then wash with water and transfer the peeling on another slide which contains water cover this with a cover glass and you have to focus it by using compound microscope and then you have to write these two points rectangular shape shape of the cell is rectangular and then the number of nuclei that is in each cell there is a presence of only one nucleus therefore you have to write uninucleated so this is about the experiment nuclear staining next we'll move on to ph of water and soil sample next is ph of water or soil sample you have to learn both because in the examination you will get only water sample or soil sample so here what is meant by ph it is the power of hydrogen so if it is 7 then it is considered as a neutral if it is 6 5 4 3 2 1 like that then it is said to be acidic condition that means hydrogen ion concentration is more if it is 8 9 10 11 12 like that then it is said to be basic that means hydroxyl ion concentration is more what you have to do is you have to do the ph of water sample and soil sample first let us learn the ph of water sample c1 and c2 and this is the ph box this is the ph box now this is the ph papers so what you have to do is take one paper dip it on the given water sample like this and you have to compare the color with this here you have to compare the color with the ph box it is 14 so that it indicates it is basic in nature you have to write the condition as well as the range so you have to write the water sample c1 is 14 and then you have to write it as basic like that take one more paper and dip in a given water sample c2 and you have to compare with this here this is one which indicates it is acidic in nature this is the water sample c1 and this 
the value is 14 and this is said to be basic in nature and this is the water sample C2 and the value is 1 and it is acidic in nature. Very simple experiment, it carries 3 marks. These two are the soil sample C1 and C2. You have to repeat the experiment, dipped it like this and you have to compare with this. Value is 6, therefore this is said to be acidic in nature and then take one more paper and dip like this and you have to compare the color with this. Here it is 10 which indicates it is basic. This is the soil sample C1, the value is 6 so it is said to be acidic. This is the soil sample C2 and the value is 10. So it's a very very simple experiment. You have to identify the pH of the given water and soil sample. So this is very simple experiment. What you have to do is take a pH paper and then dip in a given water sample or a soil sample C1, C2 and you have to compare the color with this pH box so that which one is usually acidic in nature and another one is usually basic in nature and you have to write the condition also acidic and you have to write the uh, range and then basic you have to write the range. This is about the uh, practical that is the pH of the given uh, water or soil sample. So in this session I hope you understood two important experiments. The first one is the nuclear staining. In the nuclear staining you have to take a clean glass slide and then take one or two drops of acetocarmine stain and then you have to take onion piece and you have to peel the inner layer placed on the stain and you have to gently heat it and then wash the peeling with water because you are removing excess of stain and then you have to transfer the peeling on other slide which contains water cover this with the cover glass and you have to focus it by using compound microscope and in the examination you have to write only two points shape of the cell and the number of nuclei shape of the cell is nothing but it is the rectangular shape and the number of nuclei that is uninucleated and coming to the pH of water and soil sample very simple experiment here you have to take the pH paper and then dip in a given sample C1, C2 and you have to compare the color of the pH paper with the box or the pH box and you have to write the range and the condition. So I hope you understood these two practicals. Thank you.